WWE fans love to push this narrative that because WWE has been around so long that that's the way to do wrestling. That is the way to do wrestling in the modern age. And if you try to do it any other way, you are being not only disrespectful towards WWE, you're being disrespectful towards the sport of pro wrestling. That is the narrative that they have been putting for decades and decades and decades and decades. And they've tried to prove that point in so many ways. In the early 2000s, the invasion storyline. They buried the WCW talent. And then around the mid-2000s, they started getting in international talent. People like Mystico, who they repackaged as Sin Cara, as the second coming of Rey Mysterio. Remember that? Remember that they were trying to create this new Rey Mysterio character and the first night he botches. And instead of course correcting and repackaging him right away, they let him go out there and embarrass himself more and more and more and more. And it almost looked like they were just letting him do that. And it was to not so subtly say that, hey, I don't care how big Lucha Libre is. You are still beneath us. You are still beneath us. And if you try again to become a star outside of the WWE machine, we will take care of you. And that has been the narrative. People were so afraid when talent like AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura were coming into the fold because the thought was that they were just going to be buried like Sin Cara was. Like all these other international talent like Carlito Colon. That was to prove that Puerto Rican wrestling was not above American WWE wrestling. Them bringing in Shinsuke and AJ was them saying Japanese wrestling is beneath us as well. I say that to paint this picture as AEW is I don't want to say a savior. That's too strong. But it was an alternative. There was an alternative idea of pro wrestling for the mass market. Not just little pockets here and there. No, this is a mass market deal. This is a, a product with a TV deal. This is a product that has shelves of toys. Shelves of t-shirts like They're huge so this alternative is coming into the fold and Telling these international wrestlers these other wrestlers from other companies other practices. Hey your way works Your way is the right way the ones that are saying you are wrong, ignore them.
Come on, brother. Us. <clears throat> now, what's the point I'm trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is that The wrestling market is so different now. The wrestling market has evolved to a point where they need the two halves now. In the span of three or four years since the company's inception, now the market has divided itself into two halves that need to balance each other. One is on top the next week, the other is on top the other week. And it just keeps going. And if you have that balance, all is well in the world. So when I hear people in the WWE camp say that they don't want AEW around, they don't want Lucha Libre around, they don't want New Japan around, they just want things to go back to the way it was in the 2000s and the 2010s. And I'm here to say that that is not only impossible, but if it were to somehow be possible, that would kill WWE. That would upend their entire business model. And this is not to saying that the wrestlers need them. The wrestlers need... They always need more places to, to work. I'm saying the company structure, the corporate structure, the business foundation of it all needs AEW at this point. They need it. They cannot operate at the level that they are doing it if there is no AEW to compete with them. If there is no AEW to compete with them, WWE ceases to exist. And why is that? Well, their parent company. Endeavor. The whole TKO Holdings. Well, what's the other property that they bought everything of? Wholesale. They bought all of this other company that was also trying to kill WWE. This other company was the UFC. And now, UFC is seeing something similar happen in their market. Now PFL and Bellator have merged into just PFL. Now, one FC is starting to make a name for itself. But where UFC can get away with this because they're an actual sport with rules and competitors, a, a laundry list of competitors that they can keep ro rotating through until they die. Which one of me for decades and decades and decades? UFC is going to be around for a long time. It's going to be an NFL, it's going to be an NBA, it's going to be the MLB, if, it, if, if it's not already. But where UFC has that edge, that constant rotating new talent, WWE is not going to see that same influx. WWE is not going to see... That same growth that they had in the 2000s and the 2010s that made it necessary 
for an AEW to appear. They will not see those days anymore where they are the only game in town because they quickly saw in that time that they weren't just competing with wrestling anymore. They were not competing with reality television anymore. Now, now they are competing with the NFL. Now they're competing with the NBA. They are competing with Hollywood. They are competing with entities beyond their comprehension, beyond their understanding. And they're getting swallowed. Sure, those were the days of like the, the 3.4s, the 4.0s, and whatever, those ratings. But even before AEW came into the market, you saw those numbers dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping. And it wasn't just the lapsed wrestling fans. It was the casuals. It was the UFC fans. It was the boxing fans. The kind of were around wrestling when they were younger. Maybe they knew Stone Cold. Maybe they knew The Rock. But I definitely know who the the WBC champion is, or I I know. Who's fighting in the main event of UFC, such and such. You started to see that WWE wasn't cool anymore. Kids were starting to wear them less. They were starting to wear the UFC gear. Kids were not buying the WWE toys anymore. They were buying the UFC. They were not buying the video games. They were buying the UFC video games. And when AEW came around, that was when they became cool again. Because now all of a sudden this thing that they were comfortable with is being challenged. This thing that they were comfortable with existing forever and ever is now being opposed. It's like when you're a little kid and you have a, a toy and you don't play with it anymore. And you invite your friends over. And you're going, yeah! And you're fucking running around like fucking maniacs. And one kid takes that toy and starts playing with it. Now all of a sudden you want. Now all of a sudden that's your toy again. And I think a similar thing is happening with professional wrestling and the WWE. Somebody else started playing with the wrestling toy and these sleeper WWE fans are like pouncing like a shark on a bloody fish. If AEW is gone, if that kid never touched the toy again, that toy is getting thrown away. That toy is going to be worthless now. Because it's not as good as this UFC thing that has been taking WWE tactics for years. And doing them better. Because they're real. WWE needs AEW more than we need AEW. 
WWE needs there to be a competition for them to justify their existence in the first place. Because without them, all you have left is Japan and Mexico as the meccas of what was an American creation, pro wrestling. So I wish the best for the both companies. I want WWE to exceed expectations. I want AEW to exceed expectations. I want both of them to be as profitable and as batshit crazy as possible because without one or the other, they cannot justify their existence. And you can make that same argument reverse. If WWE were to fold and be swallowed up by the Endeavor machine, the Team KO machine, and there was no more Raw, there was no more SmackDown, there was no more NXT, then AEW is going to have a harder time justifying the practices that they pull on a daily basis that gets them seen from time to time as the lesser company. Now, they're the WWE of the early 2000s and the 2010s. And if something, and then the cycle repeats and then there's another competitor... It might not last that long. Sure, AEW has a better chance because it's a private company. They can recoup their losses kind of like how WWE did. But I don't think they would do it as well. So AEW needs WWE. And WWE needs AEW. And we should just be wrestling fans and support that.